we're now defining therapeutically targetable subsets in this disease for which we actually have quite potent and active agents, and that was the focus of my talk. So the agents that I discussed in the greatest detail are the FGFR2 inhibitors, which are active in a subset of patients with oncogenic fusions of the receptor tyrosine kinase FGFR2 to a range of different binding partners. Um, and I also discussed IDH1 or isocitrate dehydrogenase 1 inhibitors, which are also showing some potency in a mutation that's seen somewhere between 15 and 25 percent of patients with cholangiocarcinoma. Um, so these these agents, frankly, have been, you know, very dramatic in their application. I think it's hard to communicate how exciting it is to actually be able to offer anything in the second line setting to a population that's been in such dire need. And I think that the clinical results that are coming out of primarily phase one and early phase two studies are very encouraging, but also remain quite preliminary. And so to a certain extent, the message I want to send most is to encourage providers to undertake molecular diagnostics early in their patient's evaluation. And to the extent that these mutations are found to consider referral to tertiary centers for clinical trial enrollment.